Hey Virgo, welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I've made some changes to this channel where I'll be posting all 12 individual sign readings once a week and live stream almost every day. In this reading, we are going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear this week. Today is the 11th of December, 2023. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 8.16 a.m. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo important love messages that Virgos need to hear this week. Thanks for being here, Virgo. And please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever could be in your energy field, your love energy field. Four wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Virgo, I feel like this is a reading for those of you going through healing and recovery because the star here is in what first. Why does this reading remind me of a um, few of your other readings? One of one of your other readings from my main uh, my third channel actually. It's a Virgo only channel. For those of you who don't know, I have another Virgo only channel where I post every single day and the star in reverse um, came out in one of the latest readings so go check it out if you want to link is in the description box below now the star in reverse for me indicates um, a lot of you could be going through healing and recovery when it comes to love however there is a page of wands right here and page of wands is beneath the star so it could also be this person okay this person could be a fire sign aries sagittarius leo could also be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, can be any sign. Okay, strong Leo I'm seeing here. Virgo, this person maybe is in your, in your love energy field right now because this person may have been thinking about you, okay? The page is a messenger. Maybe this person is thinking about talking to you, reaching out to you, but they are unclear as to what to say as of right now, okay? So, this week, Virgo, it will be this person contemplating what to say to you. And Five of Cups, it feels like they are very sad or very disappointed or very remorseful and thinking about seeing you. Two of Cups, reconciling with you. Justice here is a more verse. And they keep thinking about something that they have done wrong. I feel like Virgo, for like 90% of you, it is this person whom is thinking about healing or recovering this connection. But for, some, for about 10% of you, it could be you, okay? Again, it could go vice versa. But Virgo, overall energy, I do see a lot of you could be going through healing and recovery, thinking about what somebody has said to you or why is somebody not talking to you, not communicating with you. There's this energy of with the strength here, more verse feeling as though, well, maybe this is over if this person doesn't talk to me or doesn't reach, reach out to me, or doesn't offer me a commitment with the justice here in my verse. For each and every one of you, it's slightly different, okay? But at the end of it all, we've got the Two of Cups. So it could be you thinking about wanting to be with this person. If it's not you, Virgo, it's this other person. I feel like 90% of you, it's this other person because... I don't see one pentacle here, which is you, your earth. And I see a lot of water. I see a lot of fire. I see a lot of air here, unless you have a lot of all of these other elements in your chart, which we all do. We, we don't just have one sign, which is the sun sign. We have sun, moon, rising, Venus, and all kinds of signs, uh, all kinds of placements, okay? Um, but anyway, we're going to see more, okay? The tower here, you might unexpectedly just hear from this person, but if you don't hear from this person, it's because of the lovers right here, okay? I'm covering their naked bodies just in case. <laughs> so um, it is free will for, I think, 50% of you, Virgo. This person will reach out to you, but it's going to be very unexpected. For another 50% of you, 
I feel like they will still be in a state of confusion with the Seven of Cups. So this may take longer than one week, okay? If they don't reach out to you within one week. And don't take the timing too literally because when it comes to tarot, timing isn't always very accurate. And we've got the Nine of Wands here in World First, Seven of Pentacles in World First. Eight of Wands, see? Communication shift. For some of you, Virgo, if you're single, the Two of Cups could be like, a, it's like a chance meeting because of the tower here. Uh, for some of you, if this is not someone returning, it could also be like someone new, okay? Unexpectedly, who may, whom you may meet while you're in the midst of the Five of Cups, in the midst of still grieving over a separation. That's that's just for some of you, okay? Now, Seven of Pentacles is right here. It's in one first. Nine of Wands is in one first. So there's this confusion in regards to, should I just give up, forget about the whole thing? Or should I make that choice to talk to Virgo and reconcile with Virgo, but it could also be your energy, okay? Virgo, it could also be you wondering if you should completely give up on a connection or make that choice, an unexpected choice to reach out to this person. But I just saw 0606, Virgo, check out your angel number if you want to. But I feel like a lot of you are gonna be communicating back and forth with somebody, it may not be this person. For some of you, it's communicating with multiple people because there, there are mu multiple people here, one, two, three, okay, when it comes to love. For those of you who are actively like dating on, on dating apps, I do see that this week you're gonna be communicating a lot. Some of you are actually going on um, a date, a couple of dates, okay? If it's not that, it's eight on one. It's a lot of communication. Some of you are even going to be traveling with somebody okay that you may be romantically interested that's just for some of you but i feel like virgo there's someone who can't stop thinking about you with the eight of swords i think they are really indecisive they're indecisive whether to talk to you to ask for a reconciliation to see you um, and the tower could also be in this week this person may have an aha moment making that choice with the lovers here to talk to you to see you or to see you, to meet up with you, go on a date. And four of wands is a house. It's a house, right? It's actually, it's a castle. So, But um, either this person might just suddenly appear at your house if they know where, where you live or knock on your door if they could knock on, on your door. I know nobody can knock on my door. People who don't live in my condo, they can't just come up here and knock on my door. But in the States, maybe, yeah. Because the condo, the security is very, it's very strict and you can, you have to be the resident like with a security key card in order to come in. So I feel like Virgo, but this is like, you know, in the States, you can literally walk up to somebody's house and just knock on their door. Some of you, maybe this person might just come to your house and knock on your door, okay? Hmm. I'm also a Virgo, by the way. And the lovers, page of wands here, um, or this person might say, hey, come over to my place or ask you if they could come over to your place to talk, to go over to your place and talk. Or it could just be both of you, uh, four wands here, meet somewhere, okay, at a restaurant, wherever, anywhere, it doesn't matter. But the lovers here also can indicate right next to the page of wands, this is a very intimate uh, energy. So some of you are going to be intimate with someone okay this week if you choose to or the tower here also can indicate that it could be somebody that you didn't intend to be intimate with or it could be somebody or meeting somebody unexpectedly and then become intimate with them now this usually indicates physical intimacy but you know intimacy comes in different way shape or form emotional intimacy or you know, just holding hand is also a form of intimacy. A little kiss on the cheek also, a hug also, it really depends on the level of intimacy, but I definitely see you, um, a lot of you actually, if you do go out, if you do go on a date this week, 
you might end up being intimate with this person, okay, in some way, shape, or form. Hmm. I'm curious to see it, to see just a little bit more here for go for you guys, okay? Ten of Swords, Reverse, the Hierophant. This is a commitment card commitment energy for those of you virgo if you're involved with like a married person because the hierophant can indicate that and the lovers can indicate somebody having an affair if you're having an affair with someone whom is married that the party will be actively spying on you okay because mm, they're looking for answers seven of cups and there is a bit of a danger I'm hearing here. If you're involved with a married person, you're having an affair with a married person, you might get exposed here with the tower or this person might expose you or this, the third party might find out and something, there's an upheaval here, okay? Tower might happen. I could be getting a message or getting a call from the third party. I feel like there could be a little bit of a confrontation okay that's just for those of you if you're involved with a married person but if you're married but you're cheating on your person with someone else your person might find out this week okay just fyi just for some of you but again it's this third party situation where something is going to be revealed okay however it's going to be revealed in whatever way shape or form something is going to be revealed within this week, Virgo, so bear that in mind. Um, you know, we have high vibe Virgos, we have low vibe Virgos, and the in the in between, so just take what resonates with you. Now the higher fan also can indicate somebody somebody may want to talk about some sort of a structure with you, okay? A structure where in where both of you are gonna have the same understand understanding, possibly organizing or managing your relationship. Um, I feel like this part is for some of you if you're like currently dating someone and starting to take things to the next level there's gonna be this talk about okay so we're gonna see each other once a week or I will, I will, we'll see each other like there's some sort of a plan here okay but it's not just any plan it's a plan that is consistent it's a plan where um, it's like you know, it's like a schedule. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here. But it could also be someone who is coming back around, who is in this, it could be someone who is indecisive about you or somebody you haven't been speaking with much or maybe no communication at all, or maybe there were some issues between the two of you. There is gonna be a communication where both of you um, will come to some sort of a decision, a communication that will also, I think, will either leave, it will leave you or this person making a choice, but a final choice, okay, Virgo? It could be to stay or to leave, to take the connection to the next level or to not do this at all, okay? Now, this discussion, it really depends. It could go this way or that way, okay? So it depends how it goes. So if you're gonna have a, some sort of a discussion or talk with someone, very important in regards to where to take the connection to the next level, I would like to suggest that with the higher fund here to be as understanding as possible, okay? Because the, the higher fund is like um, teacher, student, dynamic, but also a very respectful, um, energy because you I don't know in your country but in my country you got to respect your teacher <laughs> I think most countries yeah but I've seen videos where you know people don't respect their teacher like in other countries but in my country you cannot not respect your teacher so to me Harifan is a respect card so make sure you speak to this person very very respectfully try to see their point of view, understanding, because the student here is trying to understand the teacher, right? What the teacher is talking about. You don't cut your teacher off. You don't say something angry to your teacher, right? Just giving you an example with the higher front here. So Virgo, if there is going to be any communication that will ensue in, within this week between you and someone, I would again like to suggest 
um, to speak with a lot of respect and to be as understanding, empathetic as possible, okay? And I think that is if you want a good, out a good outcome from this situation. Now, a good outcome for some of you would be reconciling, getting back together, trying, or if you guys are discussing about taking the connection to the next level, or it could be, okay, now, you know, we will, this separation would be amicable. Like it, it wouldn't leave such bad blood because the tower here can indicate that it could turn really, really bad or really, really good, right? Because the lovers here, uh, again, indicates a choice. And the four wands is above the lovers and the tower is beneath the lovers. These two opposites, this is like peaceful together, you know, um, taking the connection to the next level or reconciling if both of you are separated. Um, I'll have this, it's very serene, very peaceful, very beautiful. And then you've got the tower. So it, it could go either really beautifully or it could just be disastrous with the tower. So, and again, lovers indicate a choice. So two sides. So um, Virgo, because there are two people right here. So Virgo, be aware, whoever you're going to be speaking with this week in regards to love, whatever the, the discussion could be, again, speak with a lot of calmness, uh, very respectfully, um, try to empath empathize, uh, try to meet in the middle, um, because I definitely can see that it could go really good or really, really, really bad. So it's your choice, okay? Um, hmm. Page of Swords, Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Ten of Swords, and Lovers, a card of healing. Again, Virgo, there's going to be a talk, again, a discussion after somebody has been collecting information about the whole situation, doing certain research, thinking about things, what to say, how to navigate the situation, somebody is going to decide to talk to you or you might decide to talk to somebody. Not a once more, so in the cups. Um, I feel like after a period of time of a period of time of contemplation, somebody will either, okay, the tower here unexpectedly reach out to you and talk to you in regards of reaching out, in regards to reconciling with you, or both of you will come together and say, okay, let's meet, let's talk, or let's talk on the phone, whatever, however you're going to discuss with this person. And the page of wands and the page of cups and lovers and the five of cups, see? These two pages, one is in upright, one is in reverse. So it kind of makes me feel like it could go, it could go really well, page of wands, or like very childishly, very immature. There will either be a very um, passionate com communication or a very immature communication. Um, I feel like Virgo, just be aware of that this week, okay? Now the justice here is in reverse. King of Swords is in reverse. I still feel like someone will talk about um, how to fix things or how to, if both of you want to take the relationship to the next level, whether it's to move in together, make things official, or getting married, because the justice also can indicate marriage. There are two cards here, okay? And that to me indicates marriage. One, two, three cards here. Unless you guys are involved with a married person. When I say married person, it may not be legally married. It could be like this person has been with. With the person, with their person for like ten years, have kids together. It's almost like married. That to me is also like already married, but just not legally. Okay, so the justice here is in reverse. So there could be like a talk about also for some of you, somebody saying, oh, "I think I'm going to leave my husband or my wife or leave my girlfriend or my boyfriend, baby's mama, baby's." Uh, father, whatever, you know, <laughs> that kind of, that kind of, I don't know, that kind of uh, connection that I can never understand. Uh, but anyway, so any types of connection, whatever it is, the justice here, and whatever, somebody might speak of wanting to leave somebody, okay, for you. It could be, and it might be unexpected for someone because the tower here can indicate, wow, I didn't expect that he or she would actually leave that person for me, right? 
Or it could also be leaving the third party, the one who is wrecking your home. Again, you could go vice versa like that, okay? Depends uh, where you're at with this person. But I do like the Two of Cups as the last card. So whatever the case is, um, I feel like by the end of the week, you're going to feel, even though there's, there's some disappointments here with the Five of Cups, but all is not lost because the Two of Cups is still standing up. So two, and then there's two cups here as well. So whatever the case is, whatever the outcome is, there is going to be um, an understanding of, of where this connection should go uh, next, okay? Whether it is to be together or to separate amicably or to reconcile or to get married, take the relationship to the next level or leaving somebody for somebody else. But it feels at the end of it, it feels peaceful. It feels amicable, okay? But again, for some of you, Virgo, this could either go really well or really, really bad. So just be aware of this talk that you are going to have um, within this week. Okay, Virgo, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you don't want to miss any of your videos here every week as well as um, my live stream if you guys would like to like me to do your personal reading and if you're on a budget you can try and catch me doing my live stream which I try to do it every maybe every day or every other day okay um, during the live stream I usually will chat a little bit sometimes I do certain collect, uh, some collective reading um, and also after that Usually the questions will come in, but with super chat only, no restricted amount, it can be any amount, okay? Smaller super chat, brief reading, bigger super chat, more in-depth reading. But anyway, take care, Virgo. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, again, I'm going to repeat this. I have another channel, which is a Virgo-only channel. Um, link is in the description box below. Take care, Virgo. I love you guys. I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye.